So during this bear market, I'm investing my money into crypto passive income opportunities. And one of those opportunities was pre-search, which are covered in this video above. So in today's video, as promised in that video, I'm doing a step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly how you can set up your pre-search node. Additionally, I'm gonna be covering how much I earn in one month running a pre-search node on Flux. And I'm gonna be showing you a split test in which I'm gonna to try to see if I can optimize my earning for pre-search now that they've launched the mainnet. So if this sounds like something you're interested in, then make sure you stick around for the video. What's going on guys? My name's Johnny and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So my current bear market strategy is to be invested in small market cap tokens that have the potential to 10, 50 or 100x in the next bull run that are earning passive income by running masternodes. My last video I covered pre-search that you should check out here before watching this video as this video is going to be a tutorial on setting up a pre-search node but my last video covered everything that you need to know about the project. The pre-search node it's going to take you about 30 minutes to set up but I'm going to give you a step-by-step -step tutorial. There's five things that you need to do before starting this tutorial. One is you're going to need to have a Coinbase account. Two, you're going to need to have a KuCoin account. Three, you're going to need to have an UpCloud account. Four, you're going to need to have a pre-search account. And five, you're going to need to subscribe to this YouTube channel, smash a like on the video, help your boy out, and also helps other people looking on how to set up a pre-search node see this video. So make sure to use the links in the description as we go along the tutorial because if you haven't got a Coinbase account, you'll get £10 in free Bitcoin when you sign up using the link. If you haven't got an UpCloud account, you'll get $25 for free free signing up using the link and if you haven't got a pre-search account you'll get 25 free pre-tokens when you use the link in the description don't miss out on that free crypto and free money let's jump straight into the tutorial all right let's jump into the step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up a pre-search node but quickly i just want you to have put on your long-term vision in this bear market it's obviously going to be difficult because the price of everything is low but you've got to think about the future so this is what i'm doing right now to give myself conviction that these bear market prices and setting up these master nodes could potentially be worth it. Remember, there's no guarantee, not financial advice. This is just what I'm doing. I'm not your financial advisor. I'm not your dad, I'm not your granddad, just some guy on the internet. You know the drill. Okay, so what I come on to, I come on to CoinGecko and I look at the max. So this is the coins max sort of price movements. And you can see the last bull run in 2017 went up to 70 cent. And then 2021, it went up to 41 cent or the second top, it was 38 cent. So from now it's 7 cent at the minute. Let's just say 5x, 10x. What do you think pre-search could do? Can it get some of the market cap of DuckDuckGo or Google? You just don't know, but let's just go for a nice cool in between. Let's say it's 5x from current price. So it currently costs $290 to set up one pre-search Note, and that pays 130 pre on flux which is what i used last time which cost me one flux to run so let's just say you get ten dollars minus the one flux which is about 80 cents let's just say you get nine dollars from that so five times nine it's 45 so you're making 45 dollars in profit from the 280 dollars so you're making 45 dollars from 280 dollars investment right now and then also you've got to take in mind that your 284 dollars will also be five times bigger so not only will you be making 45 dollars a month let's just say for a let's just say the next uh, bull market is 2024 so 45 times 12 and let's just say times two from one 290 dollar investment you could potentially be making you could be making 1080 dollars in the next bull run from the last 24 months so up until 2024 but then you also got to bear in mind your 284 dollars is also going to be times five so plus 285 times five equals two thousand from this two hundred and eighty four dollars in twenty four months you could potentially make two two and a half thousand dollars. So this is just something you gotta think in your head. Obviously this is a halfway prediction between the last two bull runs but this is why we're doing it. And then in that time you would have generated more pre you would roll into a new node and then obviously you're trying to scale this. So then by the next bull run you could potentially be having I don't know twenty pre search nodes running at the same time or your dollar cost averaging and buying in. And so if you times that by twenty Obviously, this is when you start making them financial decisions that change your life drastically. So now let's jump into the step by step. I just wanted to get that into your head. So this is how you sort of analyze these positions and analyze whether you're making the right decisions. But obviously, let's jump into the tutorial. So first step one, we're going to need to turn your pounds or fiat into crypto. And we want is USDT. The best way of doing that is coming onto Coinbase. Coinbase.com is the easiest one or .co.uk. What does it say? Coinbase.com. Easiest one. You're going to need to turn your pounds into US Tether. So you want to search US Tether. You want to come on here and you want to buy this. 
Unfortunately, my account is under review. So Coinbase, if you're watching this, review my account, give it back to me because I wanna be buying crypto for these tutorials on this. But it's really simple. What you have to do is just come on here, set up your bank account and then come on to here. And then what you're gonna need is at least $290. I would just say easy for fees and everything, a cool $300 on there. So you wanna click buy, you wanna buy $300 worth of Tether and then you wanna click send and then you wanna have pay with Tether here, Tether your 300 worth of USDT. Then you need the address, which will come into KuCoin. If you haven't set up an account, there's a link in the description, set up an account. Then you wanna click deposit, deposit crypto. And then this is gonna give you an option, USDT Tether. You wanna click USDT Tether, perfect. Select network. And then I always use TRX because the fees are so much cheaper. However, I cannot remember whether Coinbase allows you to withdraw on TRX. So I'm gonna say US, use ERC20. So use ERC20. That light, my light for recording extremely blinding. So I'm gonna put these glasses on. ERC20, then this is gonna give you an address here. You wanna copy this address, move it over to Coinbase, paste that in there. You're gonna click continue. Obviously I don't have USDT, but you wanna click continue, send, boom. That's it, you've got your crypto from one pound to USDT and then on Coinbase, you send that over to KuCoin exchange. Then under here, it's gonna come up. So this is the transaction I sent last night. This is it, now you've got, you should be able to view the transaction here. It'll come up, it'll say block confirmations and then transaction test, receive an address. It will say processing and then when it's done, it'll say complete. So that's it. Step one, pounds to USDT or dollars to USDT and then USDT onto KuCoin.com. Then you want to go on to main account. You want to transfer your USDT from main account. We said 300 to trading account. This means that it moves into the account that you're allowed to actually buy crypto on the markets with. And you want to come onto your markets, spot trading. Then Let's go to pre. What's the price doing today? So the price has been sideways for a while. When you set up your KuCoin account, it'll tell you to set up a trading password. So obviously that's why I just entered then. Then all you want to do is amount pre, 4,000 pre at the market price. So available. So we want to do what we say here. So 4,000 pre is going to cost, we'll do 4,050. So 4,050 pre is going to cost 287. So we'll put 200, 290 USDT there by pre and then successfully bought pre-search then to be able to see how much you've bought you just go and order history buy 200 usdt worth now let's go back to kucoin back to trading account and there you go so we've got 4100 pre there so we just ordered a little bit too much but that's okay so first step we've got our crypto usdt we've sent it to kucoin we've bought pre-search then this is when you're going to need to before going on to the next bit you're going to need to sign up to pre-search so use the link in the description sign up for an account and then what we want is to come over to this page here so as you can see, I have the 4,000 pre state before here for you, it will just say nothing. It might give you like 25 free pre when you've signed up using the link, but here it should be everything. The main things we need to take look of here is your node registration code. And uh, down here will just be completely empty. But as you can see, my flux nodes that I was playing with, and then now I've moved it one for this new test. I'm gonna do one in Singapore and one in the USA. So sign up to pre-search, set up an account, and here we're gonna click transfer pre from blockchain. And then this is our next address. So we want to copy this we want to come over to KuCoin we want to transfer from our trading account back into the main account all of our pre-search and then come to main account research refresh there we go and our pre's appeared there then we want to click withdraw then we want to come back to our pre-search there we go transfer from the blockchain so we want to copy this address send it over to KuCoin boom there you go It'll only give you one option, ERC20. So 100 pre fee, so there you go. So for this, you're gonna need 100 free pre-search uh, as there's a fee of 100 pre-search, which is actually quite high. All 4,010, there we go. Withdraw the fee will be 100 pre-search and so make sure you've got, obviously, an amount here is more than 4,000 because you need a minimum 4,000. Then you wanna click, double check the last digits of that one compared to that one. This would be blurred, obviously, but your block, just check the last five digits. Yep, cool, happy, withdraw. Then this will be, all your confirmation things so you want to put in your trade trading password you're going to need an email authentication and then you're also going to need a two-factor authentication code so this is a bit difficult for me as i'm currently filming on my phone and that has my two-factor authentication from google so i'm going to have to pause the video i'm recording here and then jump back into it with the two-factor authentication all logged in and go on from there right people were back so we put in our authenticator code we email and as you can see down here recent withdrawals pre-search for 4015 and status complete. 
So if we come over to our pre-search account, we refresh, there we go. Available to stake, we've got 4,621. Next part of the tutorial is UpCloud. Use the link in the description, sign up to UpCloud and you get $25. Then you have to come onto your account, billing and actually load on $10 for you to be able to get the $25 and also to be able to get you out that free version of the account. From every video that I've seen, using this as a VPS gets you the highest reliability score. The reliability score is what's going to potentially give you the best earnings. However, I will give you a full feedback on the comparison between the Flux and UpCloud and also the location from Singapore or the US, what will be the highest earnings. So now we've got 4,000 pre-search in our pre node dashboard. We need to go up to AppCloud and we need to set up a plan. So once you've created an account, what you need to do is come on to initializing script and what we need to do is so I've got the script here what you'll need to do I'll leave this in the description as well is copy and paste all of this and where it says your registration code uh, registration code and then your code here you're going to need to come on to pre-search you're going to need to copy this registration code here and you're going to need to paste it in this install here and then your code here boom copy and paste into there and then that is your pre-search initialization script so this is what your server uses to basically build itself so it has everything in there so as you can see get docker uh, pre-search update and then pull pre-search nodes in the docker it's basically got all the commands that your server knows to be able to set it up so underneath your account that's where you come into your account you want to go into initialization scripts you want to click add new just call it pre-search install initialization script and then you want to paste it in there boom so you want to paste this initialization script with your registration code here got from your node dashboard. There you go, copy that registration code and you wanna paste it in there. And then look, as you got my previous one from setting up before, pre-search install and it makes the setting up of the actual server really easy. And then SSH key. So this is additional layer of security that basically gives you protection um, on top of your server to stop other people being able to hack it or log in with passwords, etc. So what, how to set up an SSH key. If you don't know, you're gonna to need to use a software called Putty. And I actually have a MacBook and I'm yet to find a Mac version of this that I knew how to use and all the instructions are with Putty on Windows. So I actually borrowed my girlfriend's Windows laptop. Thank you very much to her. And I've downloaded Putty. And the simplest thing on what you need to actually do is I'll try and show you here. But basically, download Putty Gen. Uh, you just go on to Windows, whatever it is, and then search Putty for Windows. I'll leave it in the link in the description. Download that. You want to launch it. And then they'll come up with a little code generator thing like this. And so this basically will generate a private key and a public key. So then you can get access to your server with a little bit more protection. So what you're going to need to do is click generate. And then you're going to need to move the mouse randomly around the screen. So it generates a random boom. And then you got it. And then you're going to need to put a um, passphrase, so basically a password into there. And then you want to save public key. So enter a password there, then click save public key, save it into a folder, just call it pre-search public key. And then you also want to save your private key. And then again, put that into a folder. I've just called mine Johnny Crypto. There you go. If you open that up, I've got my pre-search SSH private key, pre-search SSH public key in there. So then you want to go to come on to your account again, SSH keys, add new, and then you want to just call pre-search, whatever it is. And then you want to copy and paste your public key and paste it in there. So now you've set up your SSH with the additional security and you've set up your initialization scripts. It means that anytime you come to set up a server, it'll be quick and easy for you to do. So the first server we did, we set up in Singapore. So I don't know if you guys want to try this, but basically I got this idea from another video um, where you come onto nodes, then uh, node explorer is it? network map so global nodes so basically what they're doing is they're putting weight on whether your node actually gets used on searches etc so as you can see if you're looking at these different locations you want to see which has the least amount of nodes so i was looking at number of nodes in singapore was obviously less and then look we got the us here so i'm going to put one in singapore and one in the us and then test that so we'll go back to upcloud and we're going to set one in usa usa sj01 single plans just the cheapest one that's all you need for this pre-search store don't need to change anything with that. You want to go to a, a Ubuntu server. None of this. SSH keys. You want to click on your preset one. Pre-search SSH key. Click that one. And then choose script. The same pre-search install that we've done. And then you want to change your server name to pre-search pre node 2. 
or one if it's your first one or whatever you want to name it. So then deploy. So then this is you deploying your server. There we go. We've got our second server here. So one of them is going to be in Singapore. One of them is in the US and then it'll take five minutes to be able to show up on your presearch node and then I'll take you through the next step. So the next step will be setting up your actual node, staking on it and then we'll leave it run and see what the different earnings are. Comparisons on the US and the Singapore as well as comparing. So this is $5 a month and the Flux one you get four nodes for one flux. Flux is about 80 cents. So it's a lot, lot cheaper but I've heard that these UpCloud have the highest reliability scores and therefore give you the best earnings because obviously your node will be running the best. So it's launching the server now. There we go. So live, the server has started. God, that, that light is so bright, man. So we'll keep these glasses on. So the server has started. It's live. Let's go on to our, let's just close down all of this. So let's see if it's here. Should pop up in a minute. It will come up under here. It will come up no, un, not named and then we'll be able to stake against it. So we'll give it some time just while it's loading up. So we're back. And as you can see, the node has popped up and US down here, no description. So what we're going to do, just copy this one, change the description, boom. Presearch node, up cloud, and then we're gonna go, call it US. What was it actually? Let's go into servers and find out, deploy server. So it was US, we'll try with this one. And then we're just gonna basically split test all of these ones, see which ones work the best. So up cloud, pre node, to up cloud, amount stake. Here you wanna stake 4,000. I think the minimum stake is 4,000. It used to be 2,000. I think it was even 1,000 at one point, but basically this will increase over time. But your minimum you wanna stake is 4,000. I don't believe there's any advantages to staking more than 4,000 on earnings. But if there's something you want me to try, then I'll try this out and test it. Then you wanna come down here, uh, send email on disconnect and update. So that's it. You have now got your node running from UpCloud. And here you can see we've got two nodes staked. This is the start of the split test. So we've got one running on UpCloud in Singapore, one running on UpCloud um, in the US. And then if I go into my settings, just to prove to you guys that um, I actually did earn this. How do I go and see my previous earnings? What I as you can see in KuCoin, I set this one up on the 27th of the 8th. So 27th of August, I set that up on a Flux node pre-wallet. I claim no, no draw claim on the 25th. So actually just under a month, I had, I had earned 130 pre tokens from node rewards. So that was on flux, which cost 80 cent for the whole month. You got four nodes for the price of that 80 cent. So we'll have to compare because obviously up cloud is $5 per month, which is a, a massive difference. Um, and that's for one. And that was actually running in EU. So Denmark, it says here, but that was in EU. So we've got comparison. So we've got that one flat statistic already. There's that the flux nodes running on flux like in my last video which you haven't seen then i'll link it in the description there's a tutorial at the end to set it up on flux we earned from 80 cent we earned 130 pre tokens in just under a month more like 27 days so i'm going to leave this two on up cloud running one in singapore one running in the us and i'll get back to you guys so that's the end of the tutorial if this is helpful make sure to smash the like button consider subscribing my next video will be a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to set up a flux node uh, pre-search is a little bit of a simpler version of a flux node is a little bit more complex but i'll do a step-by-step -step tutorial on that as well if you have enjoyed it smash the like button subscribe and turn post notifications on for setting up a flux node remember long-term vision we're trying to build this uh, streams of passive income crypto passive income over time scale it up and next thing you know you'll be have 20 pre such nodes potentially earning you 50 grand a year to you johnny to the outro so after a month of running my pre such node on flux i earn 130 pre tokens which is about 10 dollars worth so because the flux only costs one flux which is about a dollar that means I made $9 profit in pre from this month. I'm going to do a comparison. I'm going to set up a second node. I'm going to run one in Singapore and I'm going to run one in the US using the UpCloud web hosting service. And I'm going to compare now that mainnet is live. I've seen other videos where people have hosted them in the areas where the mainnet, where there's not as many nodes. And therefore, this has given them higher rewards up to 20 sort of pre search per day. We didn't hit that. We hit about five pre per day. So we're about a quarter of what the earnings of what they did. I'm going to try that. I'm going to do a split test and I'll get back to you in the next video but that's a wrap on the video i hope you guys have enjoyed if you found it useful make sure to subscribe leave a like leave a comment if you're going to set up a pre such node what you think how many nodes have you already got set up and thank you very much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one your boy's gone skis